Whenever you spray metallic paint, you've got a completely different situation. As you can see, this is the practice hood. We got this from a body shop and we've just been playing around with it. We shot some metallic here yesterday and you can see the dark green spots compared to the light spots. What that is, is the metallic, the silver so to speak, separates from the color. And if it's not sprayed properly, you'll wind up with a whole car of these streaks. Now the way you stop that is to apply a cover coat and then you come back, after you've got a good cover coat, you come back with a, a thin paint, exceptionally thin, with like a, um, a hot thinner or what we call a warm weather thinner and you just sort of blow it on and you let all that blend together and I'll show you how that's done. Now when you're, when you're also doing metallics, it's smart to only put a couple of coats of the color on and to finish the whole project with uh, a clear. Because if you, if you put your metallics on and you try to buff or polish these metallics, you're going to have like haloing and different shades that will come up because of the metallics. If you come over that with clear, then you'll have You'll be buffing only on the clear and you won't have a problem with that halo effect. So what I'm going to do is put my mask on and I'm going to show you, first of all, you come over and you get some color to it and then you'll come back over with a more thin solution and you just sort of blow it from a distance. You'll see me move back with the gun. That way I won't have a problem with this, with this uh, striping. Now what I've done here is I put my color coat on to get coverage over the spot I wanted to paint. And then as you can see I took the gun and sort of took it in the opposite direction and I fogged, fogged a thin, like a thin coat on it, sort of flow it together. That way you can get rid of these dark lines. If you, you have to flow it together after you put your color coat on. Now, we talk about buildup of materials. You never want to have too much paint. So if you're going to use metallics and you're going to put clear over top of them, make sure that you only put enough color on just to cover because you, your clear is going to take care of any rubbing you got to do. And you don't want to put a whole lot of material on because if you put a lot of material on, you're going to have problems, cracking or whatever. So that's the way you, go, you tackle these metallics. Do a cover coat come back and sort of fog it in and let it blend together and you won't have those lines.